Hello there, I'm Ajit from USA Production and welcome to the Nuke tutorial series. This series is based on the book From the Foundry. And today we are going to talk about the fifth chapter. Removing noise from your footage using denoise node. Let's understand what the book is saying about denoise node. According to the book, the denoise node is an efficient tool for removing noise or grain from your footage. It uses the temporal filtering to remove the noise. Actually, this is the important thing. It removes the noise or grain from your footage without losing image quality. So this is the important thing. And now let's see practically by open the nuke. I have already imported the footage here. The photo is available in JPZ format. But remember, before using or before import any media, just you have to make sure double click on the read node and inside the color space, you have to check mark the auto alpha. Because most of the things that the denoise will use from the luminance value. But JPZ format or the video format, they do not have the alpha uh, built in alpha from the media. So the, the nuke will try to use the auto alpha, overall alpha from your uh, your footage. It trying to generate the luminance value inside your media. So always check mark on the auto alpha uh, option inside the color space, inside the read node property. And now look at that image. It is having lot of noises. So we are going to use the denoise node here. Inside the denoise node, you got three options, source, noise, and motion. For example, I will explain a one by one. So first of first, I have to connect this with the source because this is our image and this is our source. And the noise, for example, if you have the separate noise or film something that you can connect with this connection with that. But if you having a same noise with the same source, then this noise connection, you have to connect with the same source, something like this way. Okay. And now, as you can see, we got this box kind of thing. Finally, we have to put this box somewhere to analyze our noise from your footage. But make sure this, this, this box should not be somewhere like object ages and the background. This is a bad practice, okay? Make sure that you have put the box somewhere like a plain area so this analyzing box can analyze the noise from the plain area. Okay, and now you can increase or decrease the size of the box. It doesn't matter, okay? But it's still there is no effect, actually. But when you will play with the denoise amount, for example, the increment of denoise amount, you can see the changes immediately. I'm going to increase the, the amount, the denoise amount here. And now you can see uh, our image is getting um, smoother. And this is the difference before and after, before and after, before and after, before, after, okay? But our image is still dully and it's not looking naturally um, denoised, okay? So we have to play around with all the options. You can go with the smoothness, such as the smoothness, and yes, the luminance blend is most important thing because we are playing actually uh, with the luminance value here in our image, okay? So we have to play with the luminance value. This is the most important thing, okay? And now things has been changed here as you can see at the, in the output. And the most, most important part is tune channels. Here you can increase or decrease the luminance gain and chrominance gain. This is also most important values that uh, helps you to regain uh, the grains or to denoise the grains, okay? 
according my footage i'm just putting the values but you can just make some experiment with your footage and definitely you can find the best result for your footage so finally i'm getting my image something like this way and as you can see uh, the result uh, this is the before one and how it is grainy as you can see and the chroma king and when you're going to remove the green skin kind of thing then this grains is like enemy for you okay so and this is the after result you got uh, not better but uh, yes you can play around with the value uh, inside the denoise node and you get you will get the result something like this way okay so this is how you can play with your denoise uh, node I hope you got something new from this video and thank you for watching this video.